Yeah, no, I think uh, I don't think anything's it's, the training's in. Hard work's done. Uh, I'm in a great place right now. I'm looking forward to going out there and performing. You mentioned yesterday at the open workouts that 223 in Brooklyn, one of the craziest fight weeks, probably the craziest you, you've ever been in with what happened, you stepping up on short notice. Going into this week, right, do you just have fingers crossed, praying to God that nothing weird happens? Uh, no no more than any other any other week, you know, and who knows if, if something crazy happens, it could work out for you again. It's just, you got to go with it. however, you know, whatever happens, I'll just roll with it. It's kind of, I'm, I'm pretty good at doing that. So, uh, yeah, no, I think everything's going, everything's, it's been good so far. You mentioned that uh, yesterday again, that, you know, Kevin Lee, we, we talked about how he wants to send you back to the prelims and you wouldn't wish that on him. Why, why does... Is it, is it fair to say that he dislikes you more than you did dislike him? Uh, I mean, I don't really like him too much. Um, when I beat him the first time, uh, I didn't. Well, I wasn't like, oh, I'm going to send this kid back to the regional circuit. Obviously, I beat him, and I want somebody that I, if I beat somebody, I want them to do great. I want them to become, you know, as good as they can be. You know, if they become champ, I beat the champ. You know what I mean? So that's kind of how you got to look at it. I don't understand if he sends me back to the prelims and I'm in the prelims and I'm, like, not a good fighter, then, okay, Kevin Lee, you beat a nobody. Why would you want to beat a nobody? You know, so I'm going to beat Kevin Lee. Kevin Lee's going to keep doing good. He's going to be hopefully the number two contender, but, you know, this is the second time I beat him. I don't see that being a third. He said that, he, that your guys' personalities just don't mesh. Um, I think he's just saying that. He's just he's just talking, but I, I yeah, I think I'm a little more authentic and and uh, say it how it is, you know. I mean, I guess I guess his quote was, "The world doesn't need more ally Aquintas." But what do you what do you take that to mean? You just said you're an authentic guy. I think most people would probably agree with that. But yeah, I think if there were more fighters like me, uh, this sport would be in a lot better place. But in what ways? Uh, in a lot of ways, I think that I think that a lot of fighters they just don't have they uh, you know they 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 take what they get they uh, they don't fight as hard outside of the cage as they do inside. Put it that way. Are you still working with Project Spearhead? I I I I don't know what the deal with that is. I haven't heard any new updates. I. Uh, yeah, I don't. I have been in contact with Leslie Smith a little bit, but I don't. I don't know where their yeah, heads at right Kato now. said it would take a miracle for that to succeed. Yeah, I kind of would agree with him at, at this point. Cajun told me that because Leslie and, and himself they're no longer in the UFC, the only board member left in the UFC is you. That he, he kind of said it's on you to to help make Project Spearhead successful and happen. Yeah. Would you agree with that? Uh, I don't know if there is, I don't know if I'm the only board member, I don't know if there is a board anymore, so, um, I mean, I've been really just focused on, on this fight, and really looking forward to get out there, fight Kevin Lee, and then afterwards we'll see what happens, you know, how everything plays out with that, I'm not really sure where that, that's at, my head's been right. totally in a different realm, when was last I got year? houses to sell, <laughs> I got fight, people are coming trying to kick my ass, Kevin Lee's trying to send me to the prelims, I got a lot of things to think about, you know, and, uh, there's a, a order of priorities right now. When was the last time you actually spoke to Leslie and Cajun? Uh, I spoke to, I, I text, had a little text conversation with Leslie uh, not too long ago, and I kind of told her the same thing. I said that I'm really just, you know, focused on this fight, and uh, and that was that. was that. We spoke right after you joined the Project Spirit Board, I believe in February and March, and, and you seemed really excited. You, you were ready to, to make change happen. Is, would disappointment be the right word to describe, I guess, your feelings toward Project Spirit and you joining their board? Uh, I mean, I guess, I guess when you don't complete a goal, it's always somewhat of a disappointment. But I think there's still a lot of work to be done in that area, and I think it just has to be gone about the right way, and everyone can be happy, and it'll all, it'll all play out uh, the right way. And I know I think you guys needed the 150 cards from fighters by February. From what you know, it doesn't sound like you, you you've talked to them all that much. But from what you know, are you guys? I don't know the number, the count. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't. 
but you plan it to stay part of Project Spirit. No, oh, absolutely. I mean, I, I, they had their their head was in the right place in, in a lot of ways, and I definitely want to follow through with a lot of the things that they brought to the table. How often um, did you go back and, and watch the Habib fight afterwards, or did you at all? It's a long fight. It's a like half an hour to sit and watch it yourself get your ass kicked. Um, but I took a lot out of it. I watched it. A, I watched it a good. I got. I I probably watched it. I say five to ten times since then. Um, you know, there's a lot of things. I just did, I didn't look like myself out there. Uh, I know Khabib obviously makes everyone look like they don't think they should look, but uh, I think with a with a little more time to prepare. Um, who knows how the fight goes, but I know I can do more of what I know I'm capable of. So many people after that seem to, to think like, geez, on paper, like he should have just run right through you, right? But yet there you were, you know, still in that thing, you know, in the 24th and 25th minute and that that exposed some things about him. Did you take those kinds of positive moral victories out of that fight after it was all said and done? A lot of people thought that I exposed stuff of, of him. I thought, um, you know, very few people really thought that I kind of showed what I, I'm made of. You know, I think it's that's more of the cases that I showed. Uh, really, you know, I fought. I've had five five wins in a row, four knockouts. Uh, fought Diego Sanchez after a two-year layoff and knocked you know him out quick. So you haven't really seen much of me. Uh, going there five rounds on three re three round camp tra training for a totally different kind of opponent I think it says a lot more about me than a about Khabib uh, so that's that's kind of really what I'm looking to show in this fight is that uh, you know did I expose Khabib or did I make myself look look good by what people think is exposing him I, I think that's what it's going to show in this fight so how much better will you think that you will be able to make yourself look with a big win over somebody like Kevin than in a, let's call it a surprising loss to, to, to Khabib then. This one, is this more important than even than, than being in, in that caliber of a fight? Well, I mean, winning, beating Khabib at that point would have been sure. just insane, sure. life-changing. You know, I'd be, the, yeah. But this is, you know, this is, uh, this is time to prepare. This is an opponent that I've, I'm ready for. I'm, that whole week was just crazy. I think there was so many variables in that week that you couldn't really. I just wish I was. Uh, yeah, I just wish I would have done things. I, I don't know. Now, I'm looking back, hindsight 2020, I wish I would have done a few things differently. But um, after this fight, I think no matter what, how the fight goes, there's nothing I can say. I put all of, all my hard works in. There's there's no variables. There's no questions. I've trained my ass off for this fight, so the result is the result, and. And that's it. There's no, you know, there's, you're not going to hear me say anything after the fight. This is, this is me. You know, the best you're going to see me. What's it like uh, balancing fighting and selling houses? It's, uh, I think it keeps me balanced. Uh, I train in the morning. I do some real estate stuff in the afternoon. Obviously, as the fight gets closer, I start weaning off the real estate and focusing more on the fight. But. Uh, it's non-strenuous on my body. I'm on the phone. I'm meeting new people. I'm talking. Yeah, but it's just like fighting. It's competitive. There's, you know, how many mixed martial artists in the world there are, and to be a top mixed martial artist, you have to have a certain ethic of work. And uh, how many real estate agents are there all over the place? Everyone's mom or whoever is a real estate agent. So uh, to stand out above the rest, who your mom is? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> See, everyone's got. A, everyone knows a real estate agent. Uh, everyone knows somebody who does this UFC stuff. You know, to to really be in there and make mo good money and have uh, uh, something that you can live off of, you gotta you gotta have something special. You gotta stand out above everybody else. So it's very similar in a lot of ways. Non-taxing on my body, um, and you know, when I have a little downtime, I pick that up and I ease off this and. It keeps me balanced. It's good. It's fun. Do a lot of your clients know who you are before they actually hire you as your as their agent? I have had a few. I've made. I've sold a few houses of people that just saw me as the UFC guy that sells houses too, and they were excited to work with. Uh, you know, if it's same thing. If they see that I can be the dedication that I have in this sport, the the work ethic that I have. Um, if I put that into selling their house, there's no way, there's no one that's gonna beat me. There's no, there's no real estate agent out there that's gonna, you know, 
work as hard as I work to I just know how to work and uh, and that's really they put their trust in me and um, and I so far I've I, I mean you'd have to ask them I got a good bunch of good reviews on Zillow <laughs> it, it seemed like for a while uh, on your list of priorities fighting fighting was closer to the bottom is it fair to say now it's closer back to the top it definitely yeah it's that last fight put me that re that motivated me again to where you know I think everything kind of it all just you know I work hard and and I deserve I I like I don't know I feel like I'm not a big like religious I don't know but like uh I worked for that I deserved that shot